Hello friends, so today we are hiking up to Talaka Gimba, one of the temple in Thimpu. It's on the top of the mountain. As far as the information that we got, they said it is uh, 15 kilometers from here. So we are just starting our hike. Just we're on the way and uh, Thimpu is the capital city of Bhutan and I stay in Thimpu and Thimpu itself we have a lot of temples and monasteries to be discovered and today is just like my first time to the temple and I will see you and inform you more on the way. Bhutan is a country with a lot of temples and monasteries and some people they say Gimba and Gimba is also similar to the uh, to monastery or temple. One we see beside this is the, at the same Doka Fort. This is the oldest fort built in 1629 and oldest in Bhutan. Now, presently, it's a Buddhist monastery. We have a temple inside, and even we can visit inside if we want to make a prayer and I can offer it. Donde? Vamos a descansar y luego. Vamos a caminar porque tengo hambre y también tengo sed. No, porque yo vivo solo, así que no hay nadie quien va a cocinar para mí. Entonces tengo hambre, sí. No te dices nadie. ¿Por qué? No, tengo galletas, jugo y también agua mineral. Entonces para mí no hay problema. ¿sí? Mi amigo también habla español poquito, pero yo más. Mira él, ¿sí? Él habla poquito, muy poquito español, pero yo mucho. Oh, yo un hombre quien habla español muy, muy, muy rápido y mejor en Bután. Still, we are not able to find the route to to the temple. Still, we're on the motor road and we're walking, and they are following me. And actually, I'm the captain for today's hike. Captain with more information. Captain with more information, but uh, it's so confusing. And like, still, we're trying our best, and we'll update you more on the way. And see you guys. And I can see this dog is average with me. <laughs> Not I'm average with the dog, but dog is average with me. And yeah, we're going. This place is very calm, peaceful. The environment is sweet and nature. My friend, yeah, he's very average with the dog, but me, no. So I'm confused which route to follow. I guess correct route. So we are gonna walk up. I guess like now we have found the route, but it's very small. We're not sure. Still confused. But as per the GPS, they said it's the correct route that we are following up. Let's see how we are gonna do. This one is a Himalayan oak. In Bhutan we have three types of oak. Normal, the brown oak, and this is Himalayan oak.
Und das ist ja nicht und dafür kommst du gerne. Eh, oh, das kommst du gerne. Now I think like finally we have find the route because we met one man who's gonna help us because he's staying in this area, he's a local of this area. And you can see the land cultivated. Even in the apple orchard they have planted potato. This is potato plant. And this is apple tree. It's very beautiful. The motor road that we see behind is to us Punaha Valley. When we go Punaha Valley from the we have to pass through this motor road and it leads all over this mountain. There's a mountain so we have to go all the way to the mountain and it takes a minimum of two and a half hours but usually the people they stop one hour in Dosula Pass because Dosula Pass is one of the most beautiful pass that we have in Bhutan and the people like we are just taking rest and having some refreshment and see this is product of Bhutan pretty Bhutan has a nut pit we have this now <laughs> we have beautiful people beautiful things to drink and yeah and the view of the Kimpo City, beautiful. Hi, <laughs> We are confused, so we have to use GPS to find the route. And I guess we are on the right track because now we are left only with 1.6 km. It's 37 minutes from here. So we are happy. But the route to the temple is not that clear. It's very small. I have to pass by the buses. And for those who are gonna visit for the first time, I think you face the same problem like us. Oh, very sad. We're not able to find the route. We lost the route. I don't know how. Even uh, the, we are not able to track the GPS because of the network problem. We're just waiting and we're thinking to which direction is to go. I hope we will find the route. We are already lost on the way, but we are still using GPS to find the main route and I think now we are almost there because GPS was only 21 minutes to the temple. Hope we will reach there soon. Nuchu! I guess that's the temple. They have a lot of area over there. So I have flags. The view. My friends are very happy to go. We nearly give up on track since like we lose our route on the way. It's very hot. Still I was trying hard. Still we are trying our best to be there. And lucky and we're happy finally for the temple. About 90% of the Bhutanese, we are Buddhists and we love being a Buddhist. So today I'm sharing my 
chocolate with them. So next time I expect them to share with me. And I recommend everybody to bring this type of chocolate on your hike because it helps you to get more energy. We are already like uh, to enter the temple. We have to wear our traditional dress, the go. So we are ready. And now I want to enter the temple. <sighs> now how I am uh, checking this video in my phone because I am going out of battery in my camera. So I need some battery to take photographs. Yeah, we are entering the temple, but I cannot take video or photograph inside the temple. So. <sighs> Pretty hungry because we didn't have our lunch. Even if I could miss my breakfast, I had a very light breakfast today. I was thinking that uh, I'm gonna walk a lot, but that's my big mistake because out here there's no restaurant or anything else like that. So don't miss it. This narrow mark, if you come next time, you can see the mark there. going up that we have missed this road and we are totally on the wrong direction but now we could make it we have done with our hike and now I'm gonna end my video out here Thank you everyone for watching my video.